Hey guys, Juicy Star here. So today I'm doing a review on e.l.f. brushes, Eyes, Lips, Face. You can get them from Eyes, Lips, Face or e.l.f.com. I think it both takes you there. And as almost everyone knows, it everything on the site is a dollar. So I was pretty skeptical about going and getting everything because if it's if they're selling them for a dollar, that means they pay like 50 cents for them for the whole brush so because they have to make a profit unless they just don't care about that so and they're from China so I don't know maybe I don't know I was kinda scared about them but when they came I was actually pretty surprised and I like them so I had a elf brush holder that I got from Encore and well I made it because he did a video he didn't like send it although that would be cool but he didn't I wish so I'm just gonna review I got the 12 brush set then I realized there were some of the brushes I didn't really need and you can order the brushes like separately and they have all 12 for a dollar and it was twelve dollars so I didn't really save any getting stupid brushes so here's the first one it's the total face brush and it's kind of like a ready color which is pretty in your little box because it just makes it pretty and I've seen a lot of reviews on this that says it's hard on your skin and it's not it is I got scared because I watched the videos after I ordered it so it's very soft on my skin it doesn't get like it's not hard so I don't know what those people are talking about but yeah okay so then this brush is a yes. I like this one and I have some no's, sorry, but okay, next one. This might just be my like second third fourth. This is going to be one of my favorites. I don't know what number it is, but it's going to be one of them. And it is the bronzing brush, but it's kind of an it's an angled blush brush and I use it for contouring. Mm. Down through here, I like this one a lot. This one is more of a yes than this one. See, they match. They're both red. So, those are both yeses. But this little devil coming up. Okay. This foundation brush is pathetic. It's like, look how skinny it is compared to most foundation brushes. It like you can't when you put the stuff on your face and you go over it it doesn't do anything it's like floppy and skinny some of the brushes I've been able to kind of use and whatnot even if I didn't really like them this one is awful do not buy this brush even if you think you need a foundation brush you'll be so much better off with like your fingers or something I mean if you want to get the thing maybe you could put it like moisturizer on with it or something I don't know what people use these for but they're definitely not normal okay next I'll do the concealer brush I love this brush okay see it's like the size of like half my a quarter half of my pinky fingernail see right there yeah but it's awesome it gets right where you need it to get and it actually reminds me a lot of my Chanel eyeliner brush so I might get a couple more of these so I can do eyeliner with them because it's the perfect size and stuff and it's awesome so this is a yes so these are the yeses these are the no's well, I'm not going to have that. That's really the only no, but that's just because I hate it. Okay. And here are three brushes. This, These are the eyeshadow brushes. I've only seen good things about this eyeshadow brush. Good, 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 good. Never bad. It's perfect. It is a perfect eyeshadow brush. Get it. Get like 500. They're like the best brushes ever. Actually, get like one they're good so that's in a yes pile and then we have the 
defying eye brush. And this brush kind of, it's like angled. See, 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 see. See, see my playmate. Okay, sorry. Okay, it's angled and it's perfect for creasing. I didn't use it on this look. This look is, well, in every video I've done, I've said, well, the first video I did was a makeup tutorial, and this is what it was. So every video I'll have will say, go watch my makeup tutorial. So why don't you go watch it? Okay, then I have this brush. It is a blending eye brush, and I like it a lot. And it, if you don't want colors to be that strong, you just kind of blend them out a little bit. And it makes them softer. It really does work. I'm not just saying that. I actually really like this brush. And I just got like weird eyeshadow on me because this wasn't clean. Oh, cleaning your brushes. I will get to that. Oh. Okay. Okay, next I have the eyeliner brush. Which, this is good. It's an eyeliner brush. I don't use it because I use another one more often. But... This would be a good brush if you wanted an eyeliner. If you like the thick, flat ones, I prefer, I would use the concealer brush, personally. I would get two, and I would use one as eyeliner and one as concealer. But, if you want the eyeliner brush, get the eyeliner brush, because I know a lot of people like it. So, yes. Then we have this brow comb and brush. And everyone needs one of these. They're kind of fun just to, like, sit in your case, and they're a dollar. I don't know. You can't get one from a place that's better than this. So why pay $5, which is what most people would probably sell them for, because they're just, like, weird. Sorry, my voice just cracked. Could you go, like, brush your hair with it? No, you couldn't. Okay. Well, you could, but you should Okay, so there's that brush. I say yes to this, too. And that. I don't know what's in the know. This, okay, these little things, these little devils, well, they're, they're actually angels. I love them. They are perfect. And you can't get a better one than for a dollar. Four, sorry. My accent came up. Than for a dollar. So you should get that one. Because I like it a lot. Okay, I'm saving the best for last. Don't worry. It's kind of funny about it. The story. Okay. And here's this little eye smudge. This isn't the best for last. This is the last one. If you count it, this is the 11th one. But I don't know who... Okay. This is... I love these little things. Sometimes they come on the back of Maybelline, like, eyeliners. And I like doing my inner corner with them. Or smudging eyeliner underneath. I mean, it's just... It's a perfect little handy dandy sponge on a stick. Kind of like Spongebob has that ride where he goes and they go to the carnival and they get like butter on a stick. No, that's cat dog. Never mind. I thought it was Spongebob. It's not. It's cat dog. I swear. Okay. Last but certainly not least. Well, actually it will be least because I've never used it other than once. But okay. So the lip brush. Lip brushes are supposed to be stiff. This came stiff, but then I washed them all with Sephora brush shampoo because, you know, you always want to wash your brushes before you put them on your face. Like, don't even touch them. Don't even take them out of the package. These are from, like, China. Like, they might be diseased or something, and you don't know what kind of hair they are. They might be, like, goat butt or something. I don't know. So, you just need to wash them all first before you, like, use gloves. But anyway, so I washed the lip brush because that's probably one of the most important ones because it's going to be like by your mouth. Like what if you accidentally ate it? I mean not like the brush, but. So I brushed, I washed it. And then when it came off um, and it dried, it wasn't stiff anymore. Like I don't know if the shampoo like took out the stiffness or something, but it just doesn't work anymore. Like it's not, it's like a eyeshadow brush. So I guess you could use it for something. Ow. I guess you could use it for something. Anyways, the moral of the story is maybe you shouldn't. No, you should wash your brushes, but maybe you shouldn't wash your lip brush, which means maybe you shouldn't get their lip brush because you can't wash it because it's not stiff, and then it's not a lip brush. It's an eye brush. So, okay, I have more reviews coming up. So, see ya.